Hi there, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, this is gonna be a short video about a 15 minute yoga asana practice, uh, followed by a brief meditation at the end. And really I'm putting this together for individuals that uh, have some experience with a uh, sun salutation practice, but maybe haven't been on their mat in a while, maybe feeling a little stiff, maybe not as strong in our upper bodies, which is totally fine. First of all, be loving with yourself because you're wonderful no matter what. But hopefully this is an opportunity to just kind of reintroduce ourselves back into our sun salutations and um, reconnecting maybe with a little strength. Well, I'm also gonna modify it to include some, uh, some flexibility in the back as well as we move. So take a moment, gather yourself onto your mat, like I said, we'll be doing a, a brief meditation at the end, so if you want to have a cushion or a couple pillows to sit on in the end, that could be pretty helpful too. So we'll start in our child's pose. Taking the knees wide on the mat, big toes to touch, hips to heels. If this doesn't feel particularly comfortable for you, you could always tuck a pillow or a folded up blanket under the heels. Uh, to give you a little more mobility. And bringing the forehead to the earth. We'll just take a few breaths here, but remembering the hands can be overhead or the arms can drape or alongside. Finding what feels like a good fit in the moment. And as you're ready, inviting a few deep breaths, beginning with Particular attention to your exhale. Nice long breath out. Maybe letting a sigh out. <sighs> or a sound or a hum. And then inviting some of Risa Pranayam, which is even breath or even effort breath, matching the length of your inhale with the length of your exhales. Just a few more here. Nice opportunity to center and ground yourself, even feeling the contact to the ground beneath. And then when you're ready, on your inhale, rising and all fours, bringing the knees under the hips, the wrists under the shoulders, and inviting the spine to begin to sway towards the ground as the shoulders gently roll back, and an option to lift the head here. Just another breath. And on your following exhale, rounding the spine towards the sky, chin to chest. And a few times on your own, breathing in as the spine sways towards the earth. And breathing out to round the spine to the sky. And as we start to move a bit, just kind of checking in, noticing if the mind is busy or thinking past or future and it's helpful just to take a mental note of that it's just thinking and really inviting yourself to arrive in awareness of sensation awareness of breath or movement whatever whatever might be present And then eventually bringing the spine to center. And one leg at a time, extending back. So stepping maybe your right foot back with the toes tucked under and then the left. Taking a breath in and on your next exhale, moving back into downward facing dog. So you might feel you need to adjust your feet or your hands a little bit and that's okay. Knees can be a little bit bent. And then just three times, we'll inhale, lift the heels, and exhale into lower. Breathing in to lift through the heels, and breathing out to lower. One more on your own, nice deep breath.
taking your time now, walking your feet up to the hands. So we're coming up to a standing forward fold, Uttanasana. Feet about, hips width apart, knees can be a little bit bent. Folding so that we can let the rib cage rest to the thighs. So for some of us, that might mean bending the knees even more. Sometimes less is more. Either resting the hands at the shins or the fingertips down alongside the toes. Taking a moment to loosen up the neck a little, nodding the head forward and back. Maybe side to side. And then bringing the hands to the shins, we'll straighten the arms and inhale, lift to halfway or upward facing forward fold. And exhaling to fold in again. And now on your inhale, we'll roll our way up to standing. Just letting the shoulders fall into place. Head lands above the shoulders, taking a breath here. The feet can stay hips width apart, or maybe you prefer to bring the feet to touch. One or two times rolling the shoulders. And on an inhale, we'll extend the arms to the sky. There's an option here to move the hips slightly forward. The key here is to lift through the sternum and to soften the knees as we breathe out to fold. Folding so the back of the neck can soften. And we'll inhale to our halfway lift again. And lunging the right leg back as you exhale. Gently placing the knee down. So you might stay here in a low lunge. Or one inhale to extend the arms to the sky. And exhale, bringing the hands to the earth. Stepping the front foot back, shifting forward to a half plank. And we'll pause here. If you're practiced in a full plank, shoulders are healthy and you prefer that option, that's really up to you. You may be staying with me with knees on the ground. And what we'll do is we'll take a breath in and lower only about an inch or so as we exhale. Pausing here for a breath or two, an opportunity to build some strength. Pointing the toes if you haven't already. And then actually lowering the hips first, bringing in that flexibility in the back that I mentioned. And then slowly lower yourself down, shoulders rolling back. On an inhale, either lift into a cobra pose or an upward facing dog, legs lifting away from the ground. And exhale, making your way back to downward facing dog. Now you can always come onto your knees first and then lift into downward facing dog. Taking a breath here. An option on your in breath to lift the right leg to the sky. Sometimes it's helpful to come up on your tippy toes. It gives us more room beneath us as we exhale lunge. Right foot forward. Let the hips hammock a little bit, looking forward, inhale. And stepping forward, exhale. Halfway lift, in breath. Folding forward, out breath. Inhale, rolling your way up to standing. Extending the arms, hips might move forward slightly. And we'll keep moving, a little bend in the knees, exhale to fold. Neck to soften. Halfway lift on your inhale. This time, left leg lunging back on the exhale. Lowering the back knee to the earth. So you might stay in the low lunge or inhaling arms to the sky. Exhaling, hands to the earth. Stepping the front foot back. High plank if you prefer, joining me for a half plank breath in. And we'll lower just about two or so inches as we exhale. Shoulders rolling back. 
One more breath here. And then starting with the hips, as you breathe out to lower down. Shoulders are still rolling back. Inhale, anywhere from a baby cobra to an upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, maybe coming up on their tippy toes and lunging the left foot forward. Hips to hammock on the breath in, stepping forward on the breath out. Halfway lift, inhale, folding, exhale. Inhale to roll up to standing. Maybe hips slightly forward, heart lifts. And exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift, breath in. From here, we'll walk ourselves back to downward facing dog. Gently lower the knees to the ground, taking them wide, pointing the toes to touch, hips to heels, and resting the head to the ground. Taking a breath or two here. And in your own way, we'll transition to a seated pose. So you might be comfortable sitting on the ground. I prefer to have a seat beneath me. So maybe you have a pillow or a couple folded blankets. Arriving in a, in a seat where the hips are either in line with or a little higher than the knees. Hands can rest on the legs. Maybe moving the hands a little closer to the hips. That helps roll the shoulders back. I didn't mention, but if you prefer to do this lying down, that's a perfectly fine option. Either having the eyes resting on a steady gazing point or closing the eyes. Let's take a few long breaths out. Sigh the breath out. Maybe hum the breath out. Hmm. Or perhaps like blowing out a candle. Or more on your own. And then letting go of the effort of the breath and simply observing as the breath falls into its own natural rhythm. Feeling how your body moves as you breathe in. As you breathe out. Noticing if the mind drifts, and that's okay, it's just thinking. Just for a little while longer. Inviting yourself to rest your awareness with the feeling of your breath. Feeling the breath in. Feeling the breath out. Maybe staying with the breath or perhaps expanding your awareness to include a sense of the body as a whole. Really feeling being here in this sitting, breathing body in this moment, the only moment we can really be in. Observing how it is in the mind, the heart and the body. Meeting these experiences of our inner world with kind and loving respect. 
so that we might reflect this outwardly into the world around us. You are more than welcome to sit however you like, or perhaps bringing your hands to under, under the mudra. Feeling the palms meet one another. With deep reverence for this most balanced place in you. And with the same reverence, respect, and celebration for this in others. Namaste. Thank you so much for showing up and giving yourself a little time to reconnect, to settle in, to settle down. I hope this serves you well. Feel free to leave any comments or questions that you might have and take very good care of yourself. Thank you.